My name is Paul McKenney. I work for Municipal Resources Incorporated. We are the contract assessor's agent for the town of Berwick, and I am a project manager and a certified main assessor. I've been doing this for about 25 years. I enjoy talking to people. I like doing the hearings. Uh, some people do commit very upset, try to explain the process, get them to feel comfortable with what the market's doing and how that is reflected on their property. In the state of Maine, it's required that every 10 years or when the assessment to sale ratio falls below 70%, the towns are to do a town-wide reevaluation of the properties in order to bring everybody up to market value. Then we send out notices to everybody in town uh, of their new preliminary value. We allow them to come into a hearing uh, either in person, by telephone, or by Zoom. Uh, to ask any questions they may have about their property value, process or procedures, and anything else that may be of concern. I try to review their property with them to make sure that the information and the data we have on the property is accurate. Um, if, it, if it isn't, then I'll make those corrections um, and you know make the adjustments. If it is accurate, then I'll ask them, you know, is this something, could you sell your house for this, for this amount and just you know, encourage them to talk and tell me about their property so I can make a better decision. I mean, there's some people that are gonna come in and not agree with what we've settled on for a value. They certainly have uh, the right to file a, a formal abatement, and that can be done after they receive their tax bill. They have 185 days from the date of commitment, which will sometime be in mid-August, so that 185 days will probably fall sometime around mid-February. Um, so they have that amount of time to file for an abatement. The biggest misconception is you increased my taxes by double. You doubled my taxes. And I says, you know, I, I try to, again, try to settle them down by explaining the process and kind of encouraging them that the tax rate will be adjusted. It's not going to be the same tax rate as it was uh, for 2023. The increase in the total town's uh, assessed value went up by $562,850,000, um, which represented an overall increase of 68%. The, that was based on 217 sales. The uh, residential home properties went up 67%, condominiums went up 92%, mobile homes went up 105%, um, vacant land went up 62% and commercial industrial properties went up 74%. The assessment is the, um, is the value the town uses um, to equally distribute the tax burden. So if everybody's at market value, that tax burden is going to be distributed equally. Uh, the previous tax rate in 2023 was $18.32 per thousand. So we expect because of the 68% increase in the assessments, that the uh, tax rate for the 2024 season uh, would be you know, substantially less. In New England, we've seen a relatively standard or consistent increase of about you know, 12 to 15% per year. So over, as I said, over the five year period, we've gone up 68%. And that's typical in the other towns that have done reevaluations in this year in Southern Maine and New Hampshire. We'll, we'll have Final values probably the 1st of August, and we're going to commit, we'll get those approved by the uh, town board of selectmen, and then we will commit taxes based on those new values, uh, probably around mid-August. <laughs>